So last night I touched on China and how it will increase coal production because it has no faith in the reliability of renewables. And tonight I want to give you a snapshot of how the Labor Party sees coal in this country. It's very important and it's something that I think all Australians need to take note of. Let's take a look at, in particular, the Queensland coal industry. It is one of the biggest metallurgical coal producers in the world. Now, the Palaszczuk government is actually anti-coal. It's Deputy Premier. He's an avowed anti-coal evangelist. And because of the left faction, and it runs Labor in Queensland, they have a plan to phase out um, coal for hydrogen by 2040. Of course, that would result in the decimation, the decimation, the economic decimation of central Queensland's economy. But here's the hypocrisy. The Palaszczuk government has hiked coal royalties in Queensland to the extent that the big companies are now paying three times what they used to. The government didn't even consult the industry and the Japanese, who own several big mines, are livid. You know that Asian cultural thing about losing face. And this is why it matters for all Australians. BHP is called the Big Australian, but it's about to give Australia the big A off the back of the Palaszczuk government's proxy bid to drive coal production away. Now, in a statement to the Stock Exchange just last night, BHP's quarterly production update, CEO Mike Henry said, the near tripling of top-end royalties by the Queensland government remains a serious concern and threat to investment and jobs in that state. We see strong long-term demand from global steelmakers for Queensland's high-quality metallurgical coal. In the absence of fiscal terms that are both competitive and predictable, we are unable to make significant new investments in Queensland. So BHP has put a hold on any new investments in coal because the Palaszczuk government has just cooked the goose that laid the golden egg. Now, let's not forget that this government gets about $12 billion a year in coal royalties. I'll repeat that, $12 billion a year. And it has become the highest taxing coal royalties jurisdiction in the world which of course goes towards funding a bloated public service, which has grown by 22,000 a year since Mrs. Palaszczuk, Ms. Palaszczuk was elected in 2015. Now, here's the kicker. This is the bit that demonstrates why Labor can't be trusted. The Queensland Treasurer, Cameron Digg, has said publicly that the increase in mining royalties was to build new hospitals. Well, there's a little place in central Queensland called Moorambah, and it's ground zero for coal mining in the state. The hospital there, it's got limited capacity, limited resources. But, of course, under Dick's plan, it's going to get a lot more. It's got coal mines dotted around the township. Yet let's have a look at the state's budget forwards estimates. Check this graphic out. As you can see there, there's no money, not a zack, allocated for any hospital upgrades at Moorambah up to 2025-26. Unbelievable. Like everything with this government, it's just spin. So don't forget that federal labour supports the phasing out of gold coal production in this country. Don't forget that the federal labour is now being run by Penny Wong and her left faction colleagues who want miners retrained to become baristas. Don't forget that under labour we will promise cuts in our power bills and yet they've gone up 30% since they were elected. And don't forget under labour, our power supply will be coming from wind turbines and batteries by 2040, while of course China increases its construction of coal-fired power stations. The Labor, Greens, Teals, ABC cabal have got us by the short and curlies on this. And you know that when BHP puts the white flag up, you know we're in trouble.